Hi buddies, today we are going to discuss about the hot and trending topic, fourth industrial revolution. So before descending into the topic, let's have a brief idea on the first, second and third industrial revolutions. So we are all, we are all aware that uh, during first industrial revolution, the production, it was powered by steam engine. And uh, during the second industrial revolution, the transportation, electricity and chemicals, uh, chemical industries were developed. And coming to the third industrial revolution, uh, it is the applied electronics and the information technology which was dominant. And uh, now uh, let's immediately move to, the, uh, move to our topic, fourth industrial revolution. So, um, a person called Klaus Schwab, he is the founder and executive director of the World Economic Forum. So, in his book, The Fourth Industrial Revolution, he has explained the nitty gritties of the Fourth Industrial Revolution, its benefits and how the policy responses of the governments across the uh, world should be. So, According to him, this fourth industrial revolution is uh, basically a fusion of physical, biological and digital spheres. So today we, we are hearing about artificial intelligence, internet of things and virtual reality etc. So these are all the uh, byproducts or the major developments of the fourth industrial revolution. Coming to the benefits of the fourth industrial revolution, so uh, under fourth industrial revolution, there is an increased automation. So because of increased automation, obviously the production will increase. So and again, uh, due to robot robotization, the efficiency in the production process will also increase. This is the first and foremost benefit. Coming to the second benefit. Uh, this uh, fourth industrial revolution is giving access to the new markets like uh, today uh, various t um, uh, various technologies like today we are using WhatsApp and again uh, Twitter uh, many such social media forums are being developed and uh, uh, there are new markets um, uh, so it is providing an access to the new markets and coming to the next benefit it will reduce the cost of trade so how it is how uh, it will reduce the cost of trade because uh, during fourth industrial revolution there is an increased penetration of the uh, internet and uh, the construction the construction costs and transportation costs will come down due to the fourth industrial revolution so consequently the uh, the cost of the trade will come down and coming to the next benefit, this fourth industrial revolution, it will raise the income levels. It will raise the income levels. So how it is going to raise the income levels? Because of the increased mechanization, because of the increased robotization, the uh, income levels uh, of the companies or the uh, industrialists uh, will increase. So these are all the benefits. Uh, these are all the benefits which are going to be uh, promising, uh, promised uh, and uh, even now we are reaping so a few of the uh, benefits of the fourth industrial revolution. So and coming to the challenges of the fourth industrial revolution. So fourth industrial revolution it is posing, it is posing a challenge to the social, political and economic structures and uh, uh, coming to the first and foremost challenge, so some economists, they are apprehending that this fourth industrial revolution would wedge the gap between the rich and poor. Because uh, according to those, according to them, uh, according to them, the rich and poor, uh, only those who, have, who are having skills um, uh, alone get benefit because of this fourth industrial revolution. And coming to the next challenge, so uh, the government surveillance on the citizens would increase due to the increased uh, 
penetration of the digital technologies so uh, as we are witnessing in the case of aadhar so the next challenge posed by the fourth uh, being posed by the fourth industrial revolution is that the government surveillance on the citizens would increase so obviously the citizens will mount pressure on the governments and the next benefit next challenge of the industrial revolution is that uh, there is a criticism that that this industrial revolution uh, this fourth industrial revolution it would benefit the elite sections alone so because obviously the physical capital and intellectual capital will come from the elite sections uh, will come from the elite sections so uh, there is a criticism that this would benefit the elite sections alone and coming to the another challenge um, is that it would mount this fourth industrial revolution would mount pressure on the industry because the industries they have to uh, they have to uh, reskill and they have to train their workforce according to the changes being unfolded right so this is another challenge and uh, the last challenge is there is also uh, some economists they are apprehending that this fourth industrial revolution would robotize the humanity robotize the humanity so these are all the benefits and challenges being posed by the fourth industrial revolution so now uh, now it is up to the governments across the world policy makers civil society and industry so all these stakeholders have have to work in tandem and uh, we have to direct the fourth industrial revolution according to our objects and according to our value system thank you buddies have an awesome day